Hello, friends, and welcome to Live Like a Berry, where we read stories together. Today's book is called Bear Can't Wait. It was written by Karma Wilson and Jane Chapman. Boys and girls, if you've got a copy of your very own, pause the video and go get it so you can follow along. But if you'd like a copy of your very own, get an adult to look in the description below and click the link or visit your local library. Are you ready? Let's go! On a bright sunny day, Bear paces to and fro. He fusses and he fidgets. Why is time so slow? For so many weeks, I have planned a surprise. Oh, I wonder what the surprise could be. But it's not till tonight, Bear says with a sigh. Oh, it's almost time, Bear, almost. He looks toward the sun, but the day's just begun. But Bear can't wait. Gopher, Mouse, and Mole all stroll down the trail with goodies packed up in an old tin pail. Oh, I wonder what goodies they have. Do you think they're part of the surprise? Hmm, let's find out. Mouse squeaks. Stoke the fire! Get ready to bake! Gophers dug carrots for sweet carrot cake. <gasps> oh, they're going to bake a cake. Oh, yum, 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 yum. Gathered in the den, they cook for a friend. But Bear can't wait. <gasps> they're making a carrot cake for a friend? Hmm. I wonder if it's this friend's birthday. Badger stops by to help them get ready with a basket full of berries and a sack of confetti. <gasps> oh, okay, boys and girls, so we've got cake, we've got berries, which is so nice and sweet, and we've got a sack of confetti. Huh. Well, let's see what type of surprise. Raven brings a candle and Owl brings flowers. Bear asks, is it time? But there's still two more hours. Oh, a candle, flowers, Berries, confetti, cake. Boys and girls, I have a sneaky suspicion. It's a birthday party. What do you think? Bear frits and he fiddles. He wiggles and he twiddles. Since Bear can't wait. Oh, look at Bear. Oh my goodness. Chip chop, get to work. Mole says with a clap. There's cake to be frosted and presents to wrap. Hmm, look how nice that cake looks already. Yum, yum, yum. Bear raises his paw. Let me do the cake. He rushes in to help when he trips by mistake. Boom, bang, splat. The cake is squished flat. Oh, no, because Bear couldn't wait. Oh, no, oh. Oh, goodness. Bear sees his mess. And with tears in his eyes, he says, Now I've done it. I've wrecked the surprise. Do you think he's wrecked the surprise, boys and girls? Oh, do you think there is a way they, they can fix it? Let's read on and see, shall we? Mouse squeaks. Maybe not. We still have an hour. Go! Get more carrots and honey and flower. I wonder if there's time. There's much to be done. Hurry, Bear, run! And Bear doesn't wait. Look at him go. Time is almost up, but Bear is very fast. They bake a new cake, even better than the last. Oh, thank goodness. They hustle and they bustle while they decorate the den. And just when they're finished... They all hear Wren. Hurry and hide. He's almost inside. And Bear can't wait. Underneath his quilt, Bear hides with a grin. He tries not to giggle as Hare hops in. They all shout, surprise. Happy birthday, Hare. We planned you a party as a gift, says Bear. There's presents and cake. So let's celebrate. Oh my goodness. Oh, look how happy 
The hair sounds. What's his name again? Ren. That's right. Look how happy Ren looks. And they've got confetti and what a beautiful cake decorated with berries. Oh my goodness! I think they did such a fantastic job. And hair can't wait. Oh, I'll bet you hair can't wait. I bet he can't wait to dig in to his, to the cake and open presents and oh, just have a wonderful party with his friends. Oh, boys and girls. Oh, these are such wonderful friends, and you know what I really liked? I really liked that when, when Bear messed up and he squished that cake flat. Remember, Mouse didn't moan at him. He was just like, "It's okay, Bear. We can fix it." And I like that attitude. Sometimes we make mistakes, but we got to remember we can always try and fix it, right? Oh, boys and girls, I love that story. That was such a cute birthday story. I want you to remember to play like a berry, read like a berry, and live like a berry. Until next time, friends. Goodbye.